Welcome to Real Issue Podcast. I'm your host, Martel Luan. Guys, if you are a Miami Heat fan, continue to like, share, comment, subscribe. Thank you for all the support. And if you're an NBA fan, subscribe to the channel. And thank you for all the support. Guys, we are pushing to 3,000 subscribers. If you have not yet subscribed to the channel, hit that subscribe button and let's get into the video. So Shams provides his latest update on the Damian Lillard trade to the Miami Heat. He says, as the Athletic reported last week, there is still no traction from the Portland Trailblazers on Lillard. Dame's mindset is steadfast towards desiring a trade only to the Miami Heat. Now, we all know that Dame is really steadfast. Thank God, you know, he really hasn't gone back on requesting that trade. And at the end of the day, I've said this a thousand times. This is Joe Cronin's fault. Joe Cronin came out and said that he failed Dame. He's the one that said that he didn't put the proper players around Dame Lillard. Now, I get it to some degree because, you know, he has to look out for his job and, and for the Blazers. So he's going to try and get the best assets in return. However, but we've given them a pretty good offer with multiple first round picks, multiple second round picks, multiple pick swaps, a young player and some expiring contracts. What else does he really want? There's really no other team that's on the table. I know that they're going to try and prolong this thing as much as possible, but hopefully we can get a deal done by at least right before camp, because who really wants to bring this into camp? They have a young core with Scoot, Simons, and Sharp that they have to focus on. We're trying to build our championship um, goal up with adding more players. Hopefully, we can get a guy maybe like Christian Wood or maybe some other guys to fill out the roster. But just in terms of Damian Miller going to the Miami Heat, this is all the Blazers' fault. They handled this very poorly. They took Dame's kindness for weakness. They abused and abused Damian Miller's loyalty. Dame was very clear from the jump. Use this third overall pick. Use these other picks that we have to get a guy like Paul George, Pascal Siakam, Zach Levine, so that we can get another star to join Jeremy Grant and Dame. They didn't do that. They wanted to go young, but at least be honest with Dame because a lot of people are saying, oh, well, he shouldn't have signed the contract. He signed that contract under the assumption that the Blazers were going to do the right thing and build the proper team. We all know that the Blazers were never going to do that. Why? Because out of the 11 years, maybe they had a decent team, maybe three times out of that, those years like in Portland. At the end of the day, nobody wants to see Damian Lillard rot in Portland. Nobody wants to see him waste his talent. We don't want to see him turn into another Kemba Walker, Carmelo Anthony, players that they stayed too long at their franchises. They should have moved on while they had the chance. But let me know what you guys think in the comments. Like, share, comment, subscribe as we continue to push to 3,000 subscribers.